Now this is one of the most potent bulking songs out there. What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard going live for Pumping Iron Store and today we are talking about Red 140. Now this is one of the most potent bulking songs out there. So we're gonna talk about what is Red 140, what results should you expect, side effects, do you need a PCT for Red and what PCT you need for Red and stacking Red 140. At first, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degrees whatsoever. I don't pretend to be a doctor. Don't listen to what I say. This is my personal opinion on how I see things I want to do to my body. I always go to a doctor for using any form of supplementations. So what is Red 140? Red 140 is a selective androgen receptor modulator developed as a substitute as an exogenous testosterone replacement. Now, what type of results could you expect? Lean muscle mass, a rapid increase in strength, bone density, improved muscular stamina, and endurance, faster recovery, and fat burning. Now, what could be some of the side effects coming from Red 140? One, suppression. Your natural testosterone production is going to get suppressed if not shut down. Second, Gyno. Suppressing testosterone is enough to cause a hormone imbalance and that hormone imbalance could cause gyno. And other minor reported side effects of red, uh, headaches, nausea, stuff like that. Skin conditions like acne or rashes. Now male pattern baldness shouldn't really occur with RAD140, but I personally think it has a lot to do with genetics, but RAD140 definitely seems to be a compound that can trigger this. Post cycle therapy. Do you need a post cycle therapy for RAD140? And what post cycle therapy should you be doing for Red 140? Yes, because I've seen it happen many times. People don't take a proper PCT and then they end up with a mad hormone imbalance. And that stuff you definitely don't want. Gains are not kept if you have a hormone imbalance and don't do a proper PCT. Then they do blood work and they find out their hormones are completely out of whack. So my personal preference for PCT, even with SARMs, Red 140, is Clomiphene. And if you can't see me, get your hands on Clomiphene. Then a rim stain, a product like a rim RX, uh, in combination with a really good over the counter test booster like Black Ox. Stacking Red 140. Red 140 is actually really great to stack, but I think it really depends on what your goal is. You wanna focus on building more muscle, you wanna burn more fat, you want recomp, whatever. Now, what you don't wanna do is take multiple SARMs that go through the same pathway, targeting the same androgen receptor, or you will be occupying the same androgen receptor way too much. Now, what can you stack it with? For fat loss, I'd say red with carterine, stenabolic, and MK677. For more muscle gain, I would say red with MK677 and YK11. For a total recomp, I would take them all together, so you would have red, carterine, stenabolic, MK677, a YK11. That was it for today's video about Red 140. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe and subscribe on my own channel, Whiteboard from the Yard as well. Go to pumpingironstore.com and get yourself some products. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, which is pumpingironstore LTD. That was it for today's video, guys. I am out.